Hey everyone, you're watching 803 Marquis Street. My name is Michael Street. Um, today we will be reviewing the Vogue June 2010 issue. It's not going to be a review, we're going to just kind of go over it. Um, because of a comment, I will be trying to change up the video, so hopefully you'll like the results. But let's just go ahead and get right into it because we only have 10 minutes. Okay, the cover is of Blake Lively. Um, everyone knows her from Gossip Girl, but there, she also has a new movie, a project coming up. Green Lantern, I think she also had another one. I'm not sure if that's going to be coming out. I'm not positive of the name of it, but it was an Esquire when she did their cover. Um, on the cover, she's in a Michael Kors cashmere mint green top, and she has on white bikini bottoms, um, also by Michael Kors, and she has on a Chanel watch. Um, Tony Gordman was the fashion editor, and Mario Testino did the um, pictures for this. Both of them did the pictures for the cover, as well as the um, fashion editorial that she's in inside of the magazine. Now we're not going to talk about everything, we're talking about a couple things um, that I did want to point out. Um, the One of the first things was the article about Joan Smalls that was in the Flash section. Joan Smalls, you may or may not know her name, but if you keep up with the runway shows, you more than likely have seen her face at the shows. She was in over 40 shows, um, and she she has done Prada, Louis Vuitton, YSL, Rodarte, Stella McCartney. Um, she's done a lot of shows. She was in order of 40, so she does do a lot. Of, she does get a lot of booking. She does get a lot of work, but she's not the, I guess, the stereotypical model. She's not the type of model who likes to party. After going to the Stella McCartney party. I mean, um, after going to the walking in the Stella McCartney show, apparently she went to the party and was only there for five minutes. She's a very domestic family type of um, girl. Andre Leon Talley loves her, and so that's why she really got this. They are calling her the new it girl. So, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. To me, um, I did see the color of beauty, and I do see that most of the um, top black models don't have her features but then again I do believe that there's going to be a change in casting um, but I don't really have time to talk about that right now. The next thing I want to talk about was Ralph Lauren. Um, there's an article on him in the Life with Andre section and so the, the whole thing about him was that he was opening a new flagship store in Paris. I think it was his Third, and he was also opening his first restaurant in the entirety of Europe. Um, there are the article, of course, it talks about the fashion. It talks about different people's opinion of him. Log Carl Lagerfeld said that he believes that he really made American style, not just fashion. He gave American style to the entire world. And so it talked about that. It also says that... Um, Lauren, Ralph Lauren cites President Sarkozy, Nicolas Sarkozy from France, and President Obama as his heroes. So I thought that was interesting. Another thing that I want to talk about was New Guard. It does 13 different designers to watch, and of course I'm not going to try to name all those designers and do everything about them, but I did want to talk about one in particular. Fenton and Fallon, which is divine by which is designed by Dana Lorenz. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name. But she designs. There are two different lines. Um, Fenton is the first line that she came out with, and Fallon is the diffusion line of Fenton. They're really grungy. She actually states that every woman needs a string of pearls to mix with chains. And it's very much like that. It's very much society girls goes rocker chick. Um... So there's like a lot of softness and hardness to her pieces. I really love the pieces that I ended up um, picking for this section. But I just went online and really found them. Her accessories have been used in Parenza Schuler shoot shows. They've been used. Um, they were picked up by Barney's in New York during their first season. The only the first season it was put on display in the windows. Um, she also has worked for Gucci and Donna Karan, and. When you really look at the Diffusion line, Fallon, Fallon is a little more grittier than Fenton. Fenton does have the pearls, like more pearls. It is, to me, more of a 
seamless, one cohesive design, whereas in um, Fallon, wait, yeah, in Fallon, it's more of like the just like having a lot of accessories and combining them. So that's just my take on that. Um, but I really did like that, so I'm gonna try to keep up with them. Um, and now on to the fashion editorials. I wanted to be a, I want to be a um, creative director, so I'm really into fashion editorials. So we're gonna go through. I believe we're going through all of them actually. But the first one is Endless Summer, and it's Blake Lively. Blake Lively is in this one again. It's still um, the pictures are still by Mario Testino, and um, Tony Good Goodman was the fashion editor. Hamish Bowles did a interview with her, and then he writes an article um, because they apparently went down to where they did a shoot, and they learned how to surf. Um, but let's get into the fashions. The first look is a Versace leather dress. It is very bodycon. I love it. I think I love it so much because of its bodycon, and it's really sleek and chic. Um, the cuts are dynamic, and it just does something for her body. I think that it will do so if somebody even has like a little bit of a figure it that this a dress like this will give them more of a figure and i really like white for summertime especially this summer coming up um i'm not one to say there's trends any longer but i really like white for the summer um the next look well the second actual picture that i'm going to put up from the editorial is um she has on an Hervé Lake. Hervé Leger dress. Um, it's a band-aid slit dress. It's Hervé Leger by Max Azria. Um, it's a band-aid slit dress, and I love it just because um, I love anything that's kind of avant-garde, um, and it's avant-garde in the way that you can still wear it. Um, it Even though the picture's in black and white, you can still see that there is an artistic detail to this dress. Um, and I love that about it. It's still chic, and it's still... It's, real, it's a really nice dress, and yet it has that quirk to it. It's not like every other dress, and I love dresses like that. So, um, she has on that, and also in the picture is um, Rob Mikado, which is the guy who just taught them how to um, <laughs> how to surf. And so, the third picture that I did want to show, she has on a Gucci-ribbed shrunken jacket and shorts, and... I love this picture just because I feel like it is a little bit of bodycon, but then again, I just, I think maybe it's, I just love the Gucci aesthetic, um, because this is very much the Gucci aesthetic, except for, I don't know about the red part so much, but the, the sheen to it, I love that, um, and it is kind of bodycon, it's not that much, it's not as tight as the other piece was, but it's still pretty tight. Um... The next editorial, we're just going to have to keep going because we have two more minutes, is Frock and Roll by, um, it's, oh my gosh, I know this. It's by Grace Coddington and Annie Labiovitz. Le, I never say her name correctly. Um, but it's of Karen Elson and Jack White. And one thing is I love Annie and Grace together. I'm just going to say that up front. And I could definitely tell. I'll tell you more about when I get to the actual picture. But the first look is um, Karen has on Nina Ritchie, or Nini Ritchie Shrug, Cardigan, and Skirt. All those are by Nini Ritchie. Um, and White has on a fringe shirt from early Halloween, vintage clothing, um, NYC. The second picture is the one that made me, like, it looked so much like Grace Coddington's aesthetic to me. Karen has on a uh, Rocha's silk cardigan and skirt, um, and she has on Machino, Machino leopard blouse. Um, it just, I don't know, maybe it's after seeing the September issue, but it just very, looked very, very Grace Coddington to me. Um, the third look is Nina Ritchie. It's a gray wool coat and a pale blue silk dress and fur gauntlets um it's tabitha simmons wedges and so and i really did love the wedges and i also love fur gauntlets i really want to do some more things with those but it seems that right after i said that we have run out of time so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope this is better um and this is what you want to look for so thanks guys bye